The parents aren't perfect and they can't be perfect because they're born into this degenerate world as well. And so you got to forgive them. You got to forgive them for their mistakes. You got to forgive them for, you know, the things that they did or they didn't do. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, I have a question regarding family. My parents and I have different points of view. Basically, they're being weak and not setting boundaries for my little sister. It is sometimes painful to see how distant they have become. I know it's a worldwide problem these days with the screens, etc. A few times I try to talk about it, but it seems pointless as they either get offended or ignore the issue. What can you advise on this? I will tell you this, man, that even as it relates to our family members and, and people that we love, if we don't have authority over them, it's none of our business. You don't have authority over your sister. You, don't have, you definitely don't have authority over your parents. And the only thing that you can offer your parents is respect is none of your business. And I know that's hard to hear. But a lot of times us getting involved with things like this is, is purely out of ego. Now, I know you think you're right and you probably you are right. I would in my opinion is with you. Let me put it that way. Right. I, I, I will agree with what you are asserting as a right way to be and a wrong way to be. But I don't agree with you in terms of you need to do something about it because you don't. It's your little sister. Now, how you interact with her or what you say to her or how you advise her when she asks you that's that's totally up to you and you can do whatever you want but in terms of authority and in terms of uh your parents responsibility you can make suggestions just like i was telling you before about how i make suggestions by like giving information playing videos sending them stuff um, just, you know, enlightenment because awareness is transformative in and of itself. Sometimes people, sometimes our effort to try to change people is futile because we're trying to do it rather than letting them do it. And you get other people to do it for themselves by just providing information. So a lot of times it's like, you know, maybe your parents just don't know, right? Because how could they know, right? Most of the world is degenerate and in degeneration. And if they're not actively seeking or open themselves up to a new way or they're too lazy, then they're not going to know. And maybe you could just show them. But you can't be attached to the outcome. You can't make them want to change. And it's best for you not to have a opinion about it right? See it and be detached. Out of charity, out of love, make an offer, but don't need anything to, to change for them. You know what I'm saying, man? So that will save you. That'll save you a lot of pain. Um, and it'll, it'll also save the relationship that you have with your parents because it is, it is of value to respect your parents. It is very valuable to respect your parents even when they're wrong. And it took me a long time to understand this even as it relates to my, my parents, particularly my father. Um, I was a little boy until I was like 35 because I, was, because I still wanted to argue with my dad. I wanted to change my dad's mind. It was a, and it wasn't until, you know, I, like I grew up, you know, around age 36, 37, you know, something started shifting in me that I said this to you guys once before, I listen to my dad now. I couldn't listen to my dad before. I listen to everything my dad says now. Everything my dad says, I listen to. I didn't say agree with, but I listen to. And I don't. Ha and when I say listen, means I don't have to have a rebuttal. I don't have to have a. I don't have to voice my different opinion. I don't need to prove anything to my dad anymore. If he talks, if he has an opinion, if he's saying something, I just listen. A lot of times I think he's wrong, but I don't. But I just laugh. <laughs> I think he's funny. Sometimes he's so, he's so off the mark, but I just laugh. My younger brother still tries to argue with him. My younger brother, I watch him, especially if he starts drinking. My brother, oh, younger brother was like, and I see the anger rising in him, but I don't have that anger anymore. So I just giggle. I just laugh at my dad when he's wrong. I'm just like, you're not. <laughs> and I laugh, and he can laugh too. Because he doesn't take himself seriously. And that's just, you know, I'm talking about me and my dad. He doesn't take himself that seriously until you take him seriously. If you start taking him seriously, then he takes himself seriously. And now it's, oh, we, it's going to be a, a tangle. But if, 
I just I've experienced that if I don't take my dad too seriously and I just laugh, he laughs too. <laughs> and then it's done. And I think that's I think it's I think it's important to have harmony with our parents. And one of the only ways that you can have harmony with your parents is if you forgive them by recognizing that they're fallen folk too. The parents aren't perfect and they can't be perfect because they're born into this degenerate world as well. And so you got to forgive them. You got to forgive them for their mistakes. You got to forgive them for, you know, the things that they did or they didn't do. Uh, but it's better to forgive so that you can, it, I say forgive and forget. You know, say forgive, but don't forget. I don't think that's right, especially when it relates to your parents. Forgive and forget. Forgive and forget. Have and then atone with them. Be at one with them. Be okay with them without any emotional content, right? And then as far as your sister's concerned, she's your youngest sister, she, she will either grow up and you, know, you got to recognize and you got to respect her path too. She's either going to grow up and she's going to recognize what you recognize and at some point shift her ways and maybe even look up to you like, oh, you know, my brother was about this and now I realize my brother was right. Or not. She might, she, she might just... She might just not make it. But once again, you, you, can, you can pray for her, which is a great idea, but she's not over your authority and you can't do anything about it. And so you gotta leave it alone. So I hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot Hulse here. And I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent sessions with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives. If that sounds like you, and you're interested in joining a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day, in every way, in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, and me and my team will get back to you with the details to see if you qualify to join us. I hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.